As per latest information, the Indian Air Force has secretly inducted the third Netrim Mark I aircraft in 2023, that incorporates additional features as compared to the previous two Netrim Mark I early warning aircraft. The work on Indian Navy's very low-frequency radar station in Telangana will start from February onwards, that will be used for communicating with submarines. Indian Navy is conducting training for the Maldives National Defence Force in close quarter battle and small boat intervention capability at Goa. The ITBP has successfully commenced logistics UAV operations for sending supplies to border outposts in the northern frontier along the LAC. Mohindra's version of the 8x8-wheeled armoured amphibious platform has started user trials by the Indian Army. Indian Army School of Artillery conducted the top Chi annual artillery firepower exercise at field firing ranges. Experts believe that the recently tested Pakistani 400 km range FAT-2 rocket could play a crucial role in deterring India's S-400 system through saturation attacks, as its flat trajectory presents a more significant challenge in terms of detection on radar system. The DRDO developed NAF Chakshio Electronic Warfare System has conducted successful user assisted flight trials from Su 30 aircraft, during which the pilots actively tested the system's advanced electronic support measures and radar warning receiver capabilities. This cutting edge system promises to bolster the electronic warfare capabilities of both the Su 30 and Tejas Mark 1A aircraft, as it will enable them to detect, analyze, and identify enemy radar emissions providing pilots with real-time situational awareness of the electronic battlefield, that will allow them to evade enemy detection and targeting, prioritize threats, and gain tactical advantage by exploiting vulnerabilities. The RDO's High Energy Materials Research Laboratory has started development of an anti-sonar decoy for the Indian Navy's Calvary-class submarines. The anti-sonar decoy will mimic the acoustic signature of Calvary-class submarine, and will act as a false target to confuse enemy sonar systems, that will provide precious time for the real submarine to evade detection and engage in countermeasures. Indian Armed Forces have opted for Israeli Heron Mark II and Hermes 900 drones through the Emergency Procurement Scheme, as this quick solution allowed them to address immediate operational gaps, However, the long-term focus of the armed forces remains firmly on developing the indigenous archer and she. Meanwhile, several media outlets have reported, that Israel will locally manufacture Heron Mk2 with Hindustan Aeronautics, and the final product will be called Archer and she, that will compete with localized Hermes 900 known as Drishti 10 for 91 male UAV requirement. A Pakistani think tank has said, that India's development of 12,000 km Agni-6 missile is not just to enhance its deterrence against China and Pakistan, but to elevate its status with global players, and position itself as a more formidable player in the international arena. The think tank also said, that as the global geopolitical landscape evolves, India might be preparing for eventualities where it finds itself in a deterrent relationship with states beyond Pakistan and China, necessitating a missile system with an extended range. Today's Top 3 Comments <laughs>